Okay, good morning, everyone. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. How are you, sir? Before we start, uh, please listen. This is a CCMA routing and switching class. Okay, so CCMA stands for Cisco Certified Network Associate. This is the basic level certification from Cisco for the core networking. Uh, so, how really a network? is working. So how data is flowing from one system in one place to another system in another place. Like there is a system in India, there is another system in USA or uh, England or any other place. How data flows from one system or when you uh, send a, a message from your WhatsApp in your smartphone, how does that message is carried over to the network or internet to the the destination application in your friend's form. So basically, this is what uh, all that. Work. So the integrity of this uh, complete routing and switching process. Vaishnavi. Yes, Vaishnavi. Hello, Vaishnavi. Yes, sir. So this is the first class, Vaishnavi. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, did you attend uh, net N plus basics class? No, sir. I can't attend. 
you directly joined for CCMA. Yes, sir. Did you attend any other classes in the division, or is it the first class? Yes, sir. It's my first class. Directly without attending any other classes. Yes, sir. Who is your coordinator, HR coordinator? First one, ma'am. Okay, uh, don't worry. Yeah, so we will start okay. from the basics. Okay. Okay, anyway, sir. See, other students, they have already attended N plus basics class. Correct? Hello, network. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So you have. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So yes, sir. Jump directly into CCNN. First, I will revise. The topics in uh, N plus basics with uh, some notes. We will take the screenshot for the notes for that uh, topics. So the topics which are very very important for the CCNA class. As far as CCNA class is concerned, there are some topics that you must master before you come for CCNA class. So I will explain it here. So why should we? Yes, sir. Okay. So. What is your educational background? Is it okay to ask you? Did you, did you yeah. have any technique? Uh, I completed my diploma. Uh, uh, okay, and apparently, I'm Fair enough. Fair enough. It's okay. Fine. Very good. Oh. That's enough. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So, listen carefully. And uh, <clears throat> the thing is that, see, uh, this is 14 days class, two weeks. Two weeks minus two Sundays, so that gives us uh, twelve days, right? Yes, sir. So you see the twelve days. Twelve days. And in twelve days, see you can learn CCNA of six months, three months, four months, one month. Here we are going to learn the things. That are very very important as a see we don't need a doctorate degree, we don't need a PhD. We need to know how the network is working. So if you are uh, put into a situation or in an environment where are where there are some switches and routers, you should be able to do the basic uh, process of configuring it or checking it at least. So you don't know anything about the uh, routers and switches. So it should not be like that. Okay, I know these things, I know these things, so then I can do these things. And uh, so each day we are going to cover a module. So not like our uh, Linux class. So we need to cover a lot of things each and every day. So don't try to be absent as possible as you can see if you miss one class you are going to lose a big chunk of all the uh, class you are going to get from this and the 12 days class so each day 12 days so there are lots of practicals you are going to do so if, even if you lose one day you are going to lose a great amount of information See, I, I will give you notes. That's not a problem. The next day or a day after two days. So if you get sick, you cannot do. See, that is not in our control. So some accidents happen. So unfortunately, some unpredictable things will happen. <laughs> that is not in our control. If it is possible, please come and ask for 12 days. Position of the topics very very important. After the class, we at least once or twice, one or two times each topics. So I will give you the strategy. So after the class, just go through the notes. Just after the class, then at night again uh, go through the class materials notes. Next day before you come to the class, revise the topics you have studied the previous day. So these are all different ways to keep yourself currently updated. That is the way. So 
you read at least three times the notes before you come for the next class. See, in learning there are two things. One is understanding, another thing is remembering. After a point, understanding is not enough. To study a new thing, you must remember the previous things. How will you remember? By a repetition only. By a repetition yes, only. Sir. So, okay. understanding is the first important thing you must have. Then remembering is very, very important. So, then only you can study the next things in uh, especially in technologies. Okay, so these are the guidelines. So these are the topics we are going to cover. Please take a screenshot of these topics. Done, See, sir. I can directly jump into CCNA class. Done, sir. I am not doing that. See, I am going to the networking basics class. So I will see you already know what is a network. So, uh, but still we are going to see what a network is from our perspective, our view, what a network is. So we can start with that definition. Network is a connection between systems for the purpose of communication. Why are we using networks for communication? Why do we need network for communication? So this is the reason. See, suppose that two people are talking to each other. So A is talking to B and B is talking to A. And the distance between A and B is very less. They are very standing very close to each other. Maybe two feet apart, three feet apart, four feet, feet apart. So the person A says something, person B can hear. Person B says something, person A can hear. There is no problem in that situation. That is a normal case. Second case, second, suppose that A and B are not standing very close to each other. The distance between A and B is much more than the previous case. So they are standing at a greater distance. So, a, so this time A will talk loudly so that B can hear and B should talk loudly so that A, A can hear. Okay. This situation is also okay, so there is much more distance between A and B, but we will talk loudly so that other people can hear. Third case, see, the distance between A and B is not that good, means it's very long, maybe 200 meters, 300 meters, 1 kilometer, 10 kilometers, uh, 500 kilometers, two separate countries. Even if this person talks loudly, this person will not hear. Even if this person talks loudly, this person will not hear. So we need a system between A and B uh, to enable the communication between A and B. That system is called the network. So earlier we had telephone networks, telegrams, post office. These are all different types of networks. And then computer networks came. But in computer networks, we are not using it only for communication. We are using it also for something called sharing. What do you mean by sharing? So we can understand sharing with a real time example. Suppose uh, this is your smartphone. Sorry. This is your smartphone and you are taking a picture in this smartphone your selfie and you want to send this picture to your friend so what are the normal steps you will follow so you will first take the picture then you will search for the picture you will look at the picture then you will select it and you will choose the option share share the picture then you will select whatsapp or message facebook or anything like that instagram or anything like that so you can share picture video text audio in the network so the i 
that these kind of items that you can share in a network, they are together called data. Okay. So you can share data. This is the first case. So network can share data. Second case, see, this is your smartphone. You have internet connection in your smartphone. This is your friend's smartphone. He does not have internet connection in his smartphone. But he can use your internet connection. How will uh, he use it? See, you will use hotspot, right? Hotspot, share yes, the yes, connection. Sir. So when we use hotspot, we are sharing our connection. So a network can share a connection. So a network can share connection. See, here in this image, you can see there are two people working. So these two people are working in a company, in an office. There is a printer directly connected to this computer. So this person can print to this computer directly. But this person cannot. But you can share this printer in this network. And this person now has access to this printer. So here we are sharing a device. Printer is a device, we are sharing a device. So we can share a device. Okay. Now, see this is uh, my desktop. You are seeing my desktop because I am sharing my desktop. Isn't it? Hello guys, yes or no? Yes sir. Yes, yes. yes. yes sir. Desktop is an application. So you are sharing an application. So you can share an application also. So whatever you can share in a network, they are together called what? Resources. So you can use a network to communicate with each other. You can use a network to share resources with each other. So share means make something available in a network that is the meaning here share and this sharing has very 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 important uh, role in understanding different technologies in networking that we will see the resource means anything that you can share in a network so that is the first definition for network and uh, this definition has this much meaning. Okay. So please take the screenshot for this one. Vaishnavi, where is she? Vaishnavi? Yes, sir. Did you understand this? Yes, sir. Okay, fine. Okay. Now, type some network. So you have a network definition for a network. So now I want to divide the network into different types so that I can understand more about the networks. So you like when you, so you you know the definition for cats. What are cats? Cats are dom domestic animals. Um, so you can say give the general definition like that. Then you will, uh, you want to study more about cats. So you can divide cats into different categories based on their color. White cat, cats, uh, black cats, based on their location, like uh, Indian cats, African cats, based on their size, big cats, small cats. Here, like that, we are going to divide network into different types based on different characteristics. So first one is architecture model. So this is based on the location of the data. So in networks, there are systems, these systems will have data, where this data are saved is it in one location or in different locations so that is called architecture model in that you have client server model and peer to peer model so based on area covered how much area a network will cover is it a small area is it a medium sized area is it a, a big area so based on the area covered you have area networks then topology based on how the devices are arranged in a network 
so you can arrange devices in a network like uh, in different manner so we can arrange the devices like in a straight line in a circular manner or in uh, many other manner so based on the arrangement of devices you have topology so let us see first category so take the screenshot for this one everyone hello guys take the yes, screenshot sir. for based on the location of the data so you have two times mam ka screenshot le li yes sir back sir so why are you asking her did you take it lalita lalit sir who asked anamika sir back sir see please she, she will take care of her if she is not able to take care i will take care of her okay you take care of yourself anyway it was funny somebody an amiga has a fan right an amiga yes sir <laughs> see i am a fan of your name that's it okay okay sir <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so uh, there are two so uh, in uh, base uh, somebody had exited so who is that somebody has it sir types of that were screenshots uh, take it okay done sir so base let us see there are two types client server and peer to peer model so you have two networks here with three systems and there are three files see in client server model what i am going to do i am going to keep the data in one system location of the data is one system in peer to peer model i am going to keep the data in three different systems so you have Three new terms here. So at least it land is client and server. What is the real meaning of client and server? So again, you can understand this with a real-time example. So uh, this is uh, you. Okay, this this is you, and uh, this is uh, a shopkeeper. So you and shopkeeper. Now um, <coughs> you are going to shop this. Uh, you are going to this shop to buy a phone. So you will go there. And what is the basic action you will do? You must ask for the phone. Correct. Otherwise, you will not get it. Yes, correct? sir. Yes, sir. So what is the basic action this shopkeeper will do? He must give this phone. So asking and giving. These are the two basic actions. Okay. These are the two actions, basic actions done by all the systems in all the networks, asking and giving. Clear, everyone. So these are the two actions done by all the systems in all networks. One system will ask for something, uh, another system will give something. In networking terms, this asking is known as request. In networking terms, then. the uh, process of giving is known as provide provide see any system that ask or request is known as a client okay any system that provide or give something is known as a server okay so oh. I want you guys to listen to something. So, Priyanka Odisha joining the event. Wait a second. So, can everyone hear me clearly? Hello. Yes, sir. 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 Y
So the latest version I updated uh, Zoom last week. In Zoom, latest version, see when somebody is joining, earlier uh, the button was to, first button was to uh, admit the participant. The second button was to remove the participant. Now they have switched these two buttons. So the first button is remove, second button is add. So uh, most of the time when I am trying to add you, I am going to click the remove button. So if you get removed, try to join again, okay? So I am not intentionally removing anyone from this class. Please understand that when you try to okay. join. Okay, okay. So okay. The settings okay. in the, uh, Zoom, see the first button is remove automatically. Second button is only add. So admit. Okay. So the client is a system that requests. So this uh, client is a system that requests a file or a resource or a service. See, best example when you access Gmail from your smartphone, your uh, smartphone is the client and it is accessing, it is requesting email service from the server. So Google is the server providing the service. Okay. Google. Somebody, okay, take the screenshot for this one also. Yes, I'm done. And so Based on area covered. So how much area a system network will cover? So uh, you can say uh, there is a building. There is a building. This uh, building has two floors. There are two rooms. So this is the first floor. This is the second floor. There is a network in this room. So I can say that this network is covering the area of this room, right? Isn't it? Hello, guys. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There is a network in this room also. If I connect this network to the network in the second room, now I can say that this network is covering the area of this full floor, correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There is a network in the second floor. If I connect this network to this uh, second floor network, I can say this network is now covering the area of this full building. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So, that is what a LAN is. So, LAN is a network that covers the entire area of a single building. Okay. Now, second case, CAN. But LAN and WAN, these are the two important things you will study. But to understand how, what is in WAN, we are going through CAN also. So in the second case, there are three buildings separated by small distance between them. So like a campus, college campus, physics department, chemistry department, Hindi department. And there are different networks in these departments. When you connect the networks in these three different departments, separated by a smaller geographic area we call it as a can campus area network third category see this is a very big city uh, there is a company office in this building and it has another branch in this office separated by a larger distance maybe two kilometers there is another office in another location 10 kilometers so it is covering a larger geographic area such a network is called man metropolitan area network it is not uh, manual area network so somebody one student in one batch when i asked him what is man he told me this man manual area network it is not manual area network it is metropolitan area network see finally see this is a very big country usa this is the map of usa uh, it's a very big country and it is uh, see there are different cities in different locations separated by thousands of kilometers and you can say this network is covering the entire country there is a network in india and if you connect the network in india to the network in usa it is covering two continents almost the entire area of the earth such a network is called wan wide area network the best example for wan is your internet Okay, WAN or internet, both are 
synonymous with each other. So take the screenshot, this one. Hello. Yes, sir. Done. Done, sir. Done, sir. So based on topology, so as I told you, see, we can arrange systems in a network like this, in a straight line. Or you can arrange the systems in a circular manner, like this. So, in the top, when you discuss about topology, something very, very important you must understand, that is difference between physical topology and logical topology. So here, physical topology is the arrangement of physical arrangement of the devices, how the devices are arranged, that's it. Logical topology defines how data flows in the network. To understand this, yes, um, uh, get help from Vaishnavi. So Vaishnavi, hello. Yes, sir. No, sir. Uh, why your voice is so, so low, Vaishnavi? The voice is very low. Why is it low? Low, low, very low. It's not okay, louder. Sir, I, will try to, I will try to leave, uh, speak loudly. Okay, sir. Uh, see, this is enough. I, I can hear. I don't know about others. Can others hear her voice? Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. sir. So, this is Vaishnavi's house. Uh, uh, this is a shop again. And uh, she's going to the shop to buy something. Right, Vaishnavi? Where are you? Yes, sir. You are going to this shop to buy something. Okay. Maybe vegetables or something like that. So this is the road you traveled. So you traveled um, in a straight line, right? So isn't it? Hello. You traveled in a straight line, right? Hello. Vaishnavi, yes, you went in this direction yes, and sir. you came back in this direction. Okay. okay. So this is the physical part. But actually what happened, see, uh, you started from your house. You started from your house. You reached at the shop. Then you came back, right? Yes, Isn't it? Starting here and ending here. So logically, you have traveled in a circle, correct? Isn't it? Hello. Mm -hmm. Understood. Everyone, what is the difference between physical and logical? Physically, yes, she sir. has traveled in a yes, straight line. But yes, logically, sir. she has traveled in a circle. And this is the difference between physical topology and logical topology. We will see that. Okay. So in the best topology, first type of topology, see, uh, see, all the systems were connected. I said were. So it is not existing now. In a day. Nowadays in networks, all the systems are connected to a central cable. And here is the thing. All the systems are sharing sharing okay this is the thing you see in modern networking yes. happened because of this sharing okay and in the star topology all the systems are connected to a device central device here it is a central cable all the systems are sharing okay In uh, ring topology, see, see in uh, star topology, how the data flows. Let us see. See, data flow starts from here. It goes to the central device. Then it goes to the destination system. Ends here. There is no going back. Okay. But in ring topology, what happens? See, data flow starts from here. It goes to the central device. Then it goes to the next device. It comes to the central device, it goes to the destination system, it goes to the central device, goes to the next device, 
goes to the central device and comes back here starting and ending at the same system right isn't it hello yes sir yes, yes sir, sir. Yes, sir. This yes, sir. is what a ring topology is. Logically, R, but logically it is a ring. So, okay. Now, in mesh topology, systems are connected to each other using separate cables. So, this system is connected to three other systems using separate cables. And uh, this is used in uh, internet, this topology, wireless networks. In wireless networks, there is no cable. And uh, see, so one system, so if there are n systems, see, there are four systems. So each system need four minus one cable. So if there are n systems, you need n minus one cables for each system. Okay. So the sharing is good, but it is a very, very big problem. See, sharing happens because all of you have equal access right, to something. So when you share something, you must share something uh, that properly, right? Deepika, Deepika, hello yes, Deepika. Yes, sir. You are traveling in a bus and you are sitting on a seat. The seats in a bus are not reserved, correct? It is shared, right? Everyone yes. knows if I take a ticket, uh, so I also have the same right to that ticket. Uh, it's a seat. So you are sitting there, a boy came, he took a ticket. Then he will come and sit on your lap. What will happen? See, you have taken a ticket, there was a seat vacant, you are sitting on that seat. Uh, a boy came, he took a ticket and he is sitting on your lap. Yes, sir. What will happen? I will shout at him. You will shout at him or you will beat him, correct? Yes, so, actually he, he is correct, right? He also has equal right. Yes. But see, the seat is uh, reserved for both of you. But if you don't share it properly, there will be always problem, correct? Yes. So this sharing is a problem, actually. <laughs> so when you give a chocolate to two kids, the other kid, see one kid, if you give a chocolate to one kid. So Anamika, do you have any brothers or sisters? Anamika. Anamika Dwarka. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Yes, sir. I have brother and also oh. sister. <laughs> what is uh, what is his name? His name is Ashit. Her name is Ashita. And mother Rahul. Oh, okay, fine. See.
So this, this is what I am talking about. Hello. Hello guys. Yes sir. Yes, first sir. button is sir. Yes, sir. Why they have uh, designed it like this? I don't know. So automatically, my uh, see mouse cursor will go to this one. Yes, sir. And many of the times I I will I will okay I will go to uh, I, I was going to press this remove button, and uh, so when I click this remove button, you will feel okay. Uh, I am removing you from the class. No, this is what happening. So then I have to stop before just clicking this remove button. I will uh, change to this uh, admin button and I am allowing it. So if you get removed from the class, please try to join again. Okay. Okay, sir. Yes, sir. No, yes, I am sir. not uh, removing you. Okay, sir. Yes, sir. Intentionally, it is happening accidentally see this is the problem earlier it was here and this was here so automatically my go hand uh, see mouse cursor will go to that uh, first button so why did they design it like this i don't know okay we were talking about anamika's brother and sister so now everything is okay Right, Anamika, you yes, sir. Uh, see you played with them, studied, went to school, go to school, yes. cinema, everything have put everything. Yes, sir. Suppose that this is just an example. See, after uh, some years, your parents are going to decide like this. If they all their. Uh, uh, properties like uh, gold, money, building, land, everything. It's only yeah. for you, not for your sister, not for your brother, nothing for yes, them, sir. everything for you only. Next day you will become their number one enemy, right? Yes, sir. Right, isn't it hope guys? So. Hope so, sir. Don't hope, it is the truth. 200 percent not even 100 percent okay 200 percent yeah. then will become your enemy See? yes sir. So, so that is because you need to share when you share something you need to share it properly that's why okay, okay. Oh. take the screenshot Yes, sir. Okay. Done, sir. See, this chapter is very, very important. See, in your entire IT career, this chapter is going to follow you. So, Please understand this clearly. Data sharing or data transfer. So there are three ways to share or send data from one system to other systems in a network. First one is called unicasting. So communicate with only one system, that is one-to-one -one communication. Multicasting, communicate with a group of systems, one-to-many. Broadcasting means communicate with all the systems, that is one-to-all. So, this system is trying to communicate with only one system. See, not all systems, not a group of systems, that is unicasting. This system is trying to communicate with a group of systems, not one system, not all the systems. See, see this, these are the key terms here. One, many, all. Correct? Now, here, all the systems, see, this system is communicating with all the systems. See, we are doing this in our daily life. Everyone is doing this in your daily life. Unicasting, multicasting, broadcasting. Uh, could you tell? See, in your WhatsApp, in your WhatsApp, there are many contacts. When you send a message in your WhatsApp to one person, that is unicasting, correct? Isn't it? Hello, guys. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Then yes, sir. in your WhatsApp, you have groups. 
correct you have rules so uh, when you uh, send a message in a group all the members in that group will get it others will not get it correct that is multicast yes sir <laughs> then see you can put status message in whatsapp so everyone can see it right that is broadcasting clear everyone okay yes sir yes sir yes sir yes sir vaishnavi clear vaishnavi yes yes sir clear take the screenshot let us move to devices so what are devices and this is what we are going to study in our ccna routing and switching basically switches and routers and uh, what are devices devices are used to create networks and establish connection between systems why do we need devices to create networks so this is the reason see in your computer so what is a network this is the see a network is a connection between systems so you need a connection to connect a system how the system can connect you need a port right network port so you will connect this port to another port in another system suppose that there is one more system so you can connect this system to this system or this system again you need a port here right hello or here Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Suppose there is another system. So again, you need a port here, right? Or here, right? Yes, sir. How many ports you can have? Network ports in a system. See, it is not possible to add uh, many ports. See, in your smartphone, you can add two SIM cards, correct? There are yes, smartphones sir. which can uh, add three SIM cards, but uh, uh, on an average. Uh, by default you can add two sim cards so if you want to create networks with many systems you need special devices with network ports so this is the reason why do we have network devices the first device we have is nic what is nic you have studied NIC. this network interface card network interface, interface card uh, it is a device used to connect your system to the network so it looks like this on a pc or a laptop so you have a laptop here and you will connect the network cable to that nic port and it will go to the network other devices and it has a mac address 48 bit a mac address physical address you cannot change it uh, that is why it is called mac address it is provided by the manufacturer of the uh, nic card and it is unique see this unique means uh, see there is only one mac address for one nic in your smartphone also there is a mac address it will not be the same priyanka what is happening priyanka hello priyanka sir again and again same problem sir how many times i am uh, joining sir see, but again see, and again uh, this one priyanka is. check the yes, memory sir. in your system check any other uh, are you using a smartphone yes sir yes see, sir see you should have a very good amount of storage in your smartphone to use zoom properly otherwise it will get disconnected if your smartphone uh, memory is almost full or more than 70% zoom will automatically disconnect okay no sir now i am connecting my laptop sir Fast starting to I am connecting. Are you say? Are you using your smartphone to connect to internet? Yes, sir. So that is what I am saying. So check okay, your sir. smartphone memory, clean up your smartphone memory, delete some files. Don't use WhatsApp and the other applications when you are connecting to Zoom. Zoom will get disconnected. Hello, Priyanka. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. See first, clean up the memory in your smartphone, and don't use any other applications like WhatsApp and anything. See if you start using WhatsApp while you are connected to Zoom, your Zoom Zoom will automatically disconnected, get disconnected. Understood? Don't do that. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. I'm not using sir. 
I say I understand. I am not saying you are using. I am saying these are the possibilities. Okay. Okay, sir. What is the next network device that is switch? What is switch? Switch is a network device used to create networks. So you want to create a network with the. Uh, 30 systems so you can use a device known as switch how switch is working we will learn that don't worry so you will connect systems here to each switch ports and it will create a network and uh, switches are devices used to connect systems in a lan okay hello yes, hello sir. Yes, 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 sir. Thank you, sir. Sir, I like the card, please. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay, sir. Sir, you are skipping technology, sir. Yes, I am skipping technologies. Do you have any problem with that? Don't <laughs> say. Not just skipping technology. I am skipping many things. And I can even skip all these class basics. Okay, Satish. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay. Because nobody will ask. Because you should have studied all these things in your N plus class networking basics. Understood? Yes, sir. Yes. See now, a router is a device that is used to connect devices in different networks. So, switch. This is a switch. Switches connect devices in the same network. So, this is one. that this is another lan so you want to connect a system in one lan to another lan you need a device called a router so router is a device that is used to connect systems in different networks basically so just since routers we are going to study in detail so we don't need any more explanation here network media so uh see it is the path through which data will flow between systems so you are said you said okay systems are communicating data is generated here it should flow from here to another system then only communication will happen how data will flow there are two ways two paths two different types of paths first one is wired media wired path so in wired media you are using cables in wireless media you are using air as the medium so in wired media you can use electrical signal light so when you are using electrical signal for data you can use coaxial cable distributed wire cable when we use light as the signal data signal you can use fiber optic cable when we use air as the medium we can use radio waves microwave infrared waves for data signal so media it's a huge chapter don't need to study on those things these are the things basically you need to know media is the path between uh, two systems through which data will flow from source to destination and destination to source back so whatever you have studied you can uh, group them into this table now 
So coaxial cables are used in LANs and it was used in best topology. Earlier networks short distance communication, later for long distance communication like cable TV. Distant wire cables are used in LANs. It's a stamp topology, short distance communication, and it is currently used. Fiber optic cables are used in VANs, wide area networks, and it uses mesh topology, long distance communication. So this is the last chapter I will discuss for N plus basics and this then is very very important and let us see it is an example. So you have one person here, let us call this person A, and another person here, let us call this person B. The A is talking to B, okay, and B is talking to A. So basically, when A talks, B must listen, and when B talks, a must listen, right? See, what if they are yes, talking sir. at the same time? That is not a conversation, right? Hello? Yes, yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No. See, that is what happens when uh, people fight. When people fight, they will talk at the same time. So that the one, uh, one person will not hear what the other person is saying. So that is not a conversation. So when two people talk, one person must talk, another person must listen. And one more condition. So this is the first condition. Second condition, see what if this person is using Chinese language and one in, what if this person is using French? Can they understand each other? No. They must use the same language, right? English or any other same language. Right. Second condition, right? Hello? Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. So what are the conditions for communication? See, when A talks, B must listen. When B talks, A must listen. Second condition, A and B must use the same language. Okay. So these are the conditions. So you can say these are conditions or rules for communication, correct? Isn't it? Hello? Yes, yes, sir. Sir. In yes, networking, sir. in computer networks also, systems are following these conditions or rules. Uh, rules or conditions followed by systems in a network. Uh, Systems in a network are called what? Protocols. Clear everyone? Hello? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, how, what is this protocol actually? Uh, is it a, 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 a word? No, no, it is a, a real thing. See, how these rules and conditions are implemented? using software. Hello. It's not yes, something magic. Okay. So, um, now you can go for this uh, explanation here. So, protocol is a software that creates logical rules for data transmission. And this uh, logical rules will uh, implement set of rules for sending information out of the network. So, 
it is uh, these rules are uh, defining some functions like data transmission methods session initialization termination addressing and routing authentication encryption error correction so basically protocol is a set of rules for communication set of rules used to move information between two people or devices and this is the definition you should by heart protocol is a software to implement a set of communication rules between systems so this is basically if you answer if you give this answer to an interviewer the interviewer will not ask any more questions about protocols because he or she may know that okay this guy has deep deep knowledge in what protocol is so some of the examples of protocols dns dhcp apica pop3 imap smtp tcp udp arp they are good okay that is the foundation okay vaishnavi hello vaishnavi Yes, now you have the basic idea about networking, correct? There are yes, other things also, but this is the minimum requirement for going to CCNI class. So what you have to do, especially Vaishnavi, since this is your first class, you have not attended any other classes for networking. Read these topics three or five times today itself. By heart everything, okay? Hello, okay. these basics. So uh, okay. from sleeping also, if I call you, okay, why should we get up at two o'clock in the morning? What is protocol? You should be able to say it automatically. Then only you can study the things in CCML. Don't think that because you have understood this, I can learn other things. No. When see, teachers will teach you Apple Boy Cat only when you are automatically able to say. right a b c d correct yes sir see you know multiplication table right what is 14 into 2 why should i be 40 into 2 40 into 42 into 2 40 into 2 what is it you know 40 40 into 2 40 40 not 14 okay so i think 80 so how you how is it possible automatically you are saying right you are not remember trying to remember it correct hello yes sir so these things should be a uh, like this not only you yes. everyone this basic topics should be like that then yes. ccna will become very easy for you otherwise you will find it very very difficult okay okay um now we can go with our first topic in ccna class so network and components so basically what is a network we have already explained this the same things we have discussed in uh, the previous uh, this uh, session so it means uh, previous uh, topics discussions i am elaborating this those things same things a little bit more here that's it so what is uh, a network communication for say connection between devices for communication and resource sharing right sharing data and resource so you can say computer as a it's just like human brain correct isn't it Yes, yes. The computer yes. is a collection of information. Human brain is also a collection of information. So, if you want to add more information to your brain, or if you want to give the, your ideas to someone else, you must basically communicate with others. Correct? Right. So, when you are yes. doing that, you are doing what you are sharing the information. So, you are networking with people with your brain. The same way, computers are also a collection of data. when you share the when you connect systems in a network basically what is happening sharing of the data in this computers correct is it is information yes sir and they uh, say you can share many things you yes, can sir. share data basically share hardware or software hardware you can share printer scanner machines etc uh, hard disk 
sharing. That is what you have seen. Uh, file sharing in your uh, uh, Windows Plus. Software sharing. See, uh, in Google uh, Docs. Hello, Google Docs. Have you, are you, have you seen Google Docs? Anyone? Yes, sir. Me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. What is Google Doc? It is a shared software, right? Anyone can yes. access it, correct? Yes, yes sir. sir. Any documents can be shared within the network. Yes. And then say centralized administration and support. Centralized administration, best example is your Active Directory. So those who have studied Windows, you have heard about Active Directory, right? All the user accounts are uh, managed from a single server, correct? Yes, sir. Hello. Yes, sir. That is yes, called yes, Active Directory. Yes. Centralized yes, administration. Computer networks can share documents. So spreadsheets, invoices, memos, email messages. So when you send emails to other people in your network, you are actually sharing the messages through email system. Word processing software, Google Docs or Office 365, Word document, photographs, video, audio files. This is you are doing whatever. See, every in your everyday life, you are doing this using WhatsApp. Live audio and video broadcast. See, this is a live audio class. If we turn on our cameras, that is a video broadcast, correct? One to yes. all. Printers and hard disks. Okay. Now, what are the major components of a network? See, there are three major components for a network. What are they? End user devices and connecting yeah. devices and media. So end user devices are devices where data is sent or received. So systems like clients and service. Right? Okay. Hello guys. Yes sir. Okay. Yes sir. And yes, sir. connecting yes, sir. devices are intermediate devices like switches and devices, routers, through which data will flow through Correct. No, it is not storing any data. Data is uh, flowing through these devices, right? But client and servers, they can store data, right? Isn't it? Yes, sir. Then yes, medium sir. is the path which will connect end user devices and connecting devices. The client, you have already seen this definition, request a service or data from a server. server provides the source of service. Switch is a network device that creates networks. Router is a, a, a device that will forward data between two different networks you have seen. Media is the path through which data will flow. See, WAN link is just like your uh, internet. So here we are specifying it separately because uh, nowadays remote network connections has become a common uh, feature in all the enterprise networks so van link we are separately specifying it so take the screenshot for this chapter everyone hello guys First yes. okay. So. Features of a network. So features of a good network. So, so that is a network. The network should be very efficient. So what are the uh, features of an efficient network? So basically networks allow us to communicate, exchange information, collaborate means what? What is collaboration? The working together, right? For a yes, sir common yes, goal and interact. So we are interacting now in this class. Networks are used in different ways. Web applications like uh, your uh, email and oh, IP telephony. So using computer networks, you can uh, uh, in uh, send inform uh, voice messages through computer network video conferencing see 
This is example for video conferencing. If we turn on video now, this is video conferencing. Interactive gaming, online gaming, electronic commerce, your Flipkart and uh, Amazon, education, e-vision education, correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What is happening to Pooja? Pooja Nagpur. Pooja. Yes, sir. What is happening to you, Pooja? You are uh, disconnecting, connecting, again disconnecting, connecting. Sorry, sir, sir, network problem. See, check your smartphone. Do you have in a space in your smartphone? It's a very, very big problem. See, recently I discovered this. You will think that, okay. No, sir, I connected in laptop. Okay, connected through your smartphone, correct? No, sir, laptop. Yes, but your internet yes. connection is from your smartphone, correct? Yes, sir. So, in your yes. smartphone, if you have connected using hotspot, see, yes, your sir. smartphone storage should be good. Otherwise, your network, Zoom will disconnect. Okay, okay, sir. So check your smart smartphone uh, storage space. If you want to uh, delete so many uh, junk items, clear your uh, storage wrong in your okay. smartphone, and this will problem will go. Understood? Okay, sir. Okay. So what are the qualities of a very good network? So topology can have effect on a network performance, physical topology as well as a logical topology. Physical topology is the arrangement of the cables, uh, network devices, etc. So star topology will work better than best topology. And uh, say logical topology is the path over which data is transmitted. And uh, this logical topology, see in ring topology, um, if a device fails, the entire ring will fail. So, so many effects that are there also in. So, physical and see, we don't want to study about uh, the advantages and disadvantages of topologies. Topologies are just to understand the difference between physical topology and logical topology. And uh, once you have understood the logical topology, leave that topology. That's it. Speed that is the measure of data transfer. Right. It is the data transfer of it is how it is measured bits per second 10 mbps 100 mbps 1000 mbps in a second how many bits are transmitted to a medium okay that is the speed security protection in a network information is transmitted over network ensure that user has access rights to certain files so a very good configuration of firewall and vpn will uh, make sure that the protection of data is taken care of. It's very, very important. So a very good network, efficient network, will provide data security. Availability. Possibility of network is available. You need to see. see. This is called uptime. So whatever happens in a network, users should not be concerned about the issues that is happening to the network. Say, so have you ever felt? Uh, Say, so have you ever? Uh, yeah, I, I don't think this uh, should have happened. See, Google is always available, correct? Hello, Google, isn't it? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But is that yes. the case? No. See, Google is also a company that with many servers. So, like we face problems in our smartphone or PC or laptop. The problems can happen to Google also uh, systems, but we as users never 
face these issues, right, from Google. Why is that? Yes, because of the availability of the services. So whatever happens in the network, it should not affect the service availability or uptime for the results. Scalability, it is the ability to grow the network in the future by adding more users. And it should not affect the performance of the network. See, every day new users are joining, new people are joining to internet, correct? No. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If something happens to internet, nothing, right? Internet can accept any number of users, right? Yes, sir. Isn't it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Apart from the speed of your connection, you will not face any changes in the internet, correct? Yes, sir. Whether yes, you sir. add thousand users, million users, nothing would happen apart from the speed of the so that is the scalability, ability to add more users. Reliability, this is uh, something uh, related to redundancy. See, something happens to your network. For example, uh, this path is going down. So this user cannot access this server. But if there is an, another path, this is called a redundant path, another path. This user can connect to this server through this path. See, you are going to college from your home. So this is house, this is college. See, this uh, there is an accident in this road. Will you stop going to college? No, you will go through another path, right? Road, isn't it? Hello? Yes, yes, sir. yes, sir. yes, sir. yes sir. This is called a redundancy. Yes, Take the screenshot. Done, sir. Done, sir. Done, sir. Done, sir. Levy, Levy, 
pandemic or pandemic? Enjoy the now pandemic. Yes, sir. Take this screenshot. Okay, sir. Done, sir. Done, sir. Everyone, uh, please wait two minutes. Give me two minutes. Hello, guys. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, okay sir. Oh. Yes, sir. So next chapter is about packet tracer. So this is the software we are going to use to do practicals. Uh, so using this software, we can design networks. Very, very important. So I did not say create, design networks. Define, design uh, network practical solutions. So this is a simulation tool. So you can so this is a software so you can just like you can design a building in a auto car correct hello hello guys yes sir in yes, auto yes, sir. you can design yes, a building sir. in mechanical auto car mechanical you can design machine parts correct yes, sir. and uh, you can see how the yes, machine is yes. working so you can learn easily how the things will work before you implement it in your so once you can get the complete idea about this uh, uh, machine, how it is working, everything, you just need to implement it. 
So even if you don't have PC or laptop, don't worry. What we are in this class, in this course, you are going to learn how to design solutions. Uh, so designing is what 90% things uh, engineering work is. So engineer is, what is the definition for an engineer? What is engineering? Engineering is the practice of using scientific knowledge to define, design solutions, technical solutions, right? For real time problems, okay. So you are going to learn that engineering process of designing solution. So I am going to share the link for Packet Tracer. First I will share the link. And those who have PC or laptop, you can download Packet Tracer from this link. And see which Packet Tracer you should use. See, you can go for this one, 8.1. See, Packet Tracer 8.1.1. Click this link, then you can download it. Once you have downloaded it, you can open this website. See, another website, I have another link I am going to share. So, they, you must register here. So, first copy paste these two links. Hello, everyone, separately. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. First, yes, first sir. link is for, okay, so wait a second. First link is for uh, downloading packet tracer. Second link is for registration, okay, using your email. And uh, how to register? So, I will uh, give you. Uh, the steps here, See, this is uh, one of the students uh, from my previous batch last Saturday. So, so he gave me this uh, uh, steps, Komesh uh, from uh, Uttarakhand, I think he's from Uttarakhand. And he was a very brilliant student. He is a very brilliant student. I am 100% sure that he may work in Cisco or Google in the future. And it is not his uh, smartness. It is his dedication, his passion. That is the difference. So all of you are equally smart. But your dedication and smartness, it is different. Right? Isn't it? Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Correct. Yes sir, yes, yes, sir. Everyone has the same capacity, but everyone has different dedication, different inspiration. So these are all different. So that is what makes a smart person to succeed and a smart person to fail. So he gave me this uh, list of steps, sir. I tried, uh, see, so, so many students were always uh, struggling to uh, register. So I was uh, trying three or four times each and every time I wanted to explain these steps. So Komesh gave me this solution. Sir, please share this solution with everyone. So I am sharing that one. So just follow the steps in this. Hello, did you get it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Or take the screenshot. Hello, this one. Sh take the screenshot also. Okay, sir. Page yes, sir. for Cisco packet tracer. So take the screenshot. Okay. So once you have installed, downloaded, and installed, you will start Cisco packet tracer, and it will use. It will ask for you to log in using your registered email ID. So I have logged in, logged in using Roshan dot Yeah. 
Once you have logged in, you will get this screen. So we are going to study. See, don't study, try to buy heart this chapter once again. You will learn packet tracer by doing practicals. Don't try to learn by heart all the things in this packet tracer chapter. So just understand these other things. So first, so this packet tracer is, is divided, in this interface is divided into four components. First one is working area. So this is where you will create your network diagrams. Second is uh, uh, network component box. So there is a network device selection. Then category, network category. So in device you have router, switches, uh, ca cables, uh, systems, end user device, network device, media, basically. And there is subcategory in all these uh, end user device. So like there is a PC and laptop in end user device. Network components you have uh, switches and routers. In media you have straight through uh, cable, uh, crossover cable, etc. That is this area. Then you have the simulation area. So you can graphically see how data is flowing from one system to another system. Then you have additional toolbox here. So you have to edit this image, network diagram here, uh, add commands, add lines. Uh, things like that, change color, everything. that toolbox is here. So devices mainly you have routers, we are going to use this router 1941, all the practicals and this is just 290-2950, we are going to use 2960, okay. Other devices we are going to use mainly PC, laptop, okay. How to add a module to a device? So we will see this later. So first you need to power off the device. For example, this is a router. I must switch it off. Then I will drag and drop one module to this uh, slot. Then I need to power it off. Okay, naming convention, Ethernet interface, fast Ethernet, Ethernet. Uh, so these are the naming conventions. So, Serial interface, what is serial interface, we will see. Again, naming conventions with the T or AS string. Then, yes. NIC, network modules. So you can add network modules with the serial interface or Ethernet interface. WAN emulation. So don't care about this one now, but take the notes and keep it with you. Once you become master in these basic things, you can go for one emulation. So don't study, try to study the uh, packet tracer completely. This is the biggest mistake I made when I tried to study packet tracer. And I spent almost one and a half months to master packet tracer. By that time, I could have studied something in CCNA. Once I studied, when I changed, okay, enough is enough. I don't want to study packet tracer anymore. I will do the practicals in CCNA in packet tracer. So I started doing that. Once I did that, automatically I learned all these things. So that is the approach you should also choose. So first, building the network. So when you were doing practicals, okay, for your degree or plus two, what was the steps? So you will write records, correct? Isn't it? Hello? Yes, sir. Practicals, you need records. Yes, so first sir. you will write the aim, right? Sir. Yes, sir. What you want to do, right? Aim. Yes, sir. Then you will write the procedure, right? Yes, How will you do this? Yes, sir. Right? Then yes, you will see the result, correct? Isn't it? These are the three yes, steps. Yes, sir. We are going to yes, use sir. these three steps to do all the practicals in CCNA also. So you should have an aim. It is not just like, okay, I want to do some CCNA practicals. Let us do it. No. Why do you want to do this? How will I do this? What is the result? So these are the three steps. So here, uh, see, this is the first practical we are going to do. 
and aim is to create a network with the two systems PC1 and PC0 one switch give an IP address to this system give another IP address to this system so first what is the aim let us write the aim create a network with two PCs Zero and one. One switch. Okay. Test connection. Okay. Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So this is our aim. So what are the procedure? The procedure is clearly written here. So first create a network by adding devices. Then connect the devices using cables. Then configure the devices and test the connection. So here you have in procedure, what is the first step? Create. Create a network. 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 Uh, devices. Two, three devices. Next, connect. Connect. Connect device. With India. Mm -hmm. Then configure. Configure. Network parameters. A configure means what? Configure means arrange. Okay. So yes, sir. your smartphone has a configuration, right? Yes, sir. That yes, is sir. Yes, configuration yes, sir. means arrangement. So your smartphone has an arrangement. Yes, sir. What is the arrangement of your smartphone? It has a 2 GB RAM or a 4 GB RAM, a 64 GB memory, a Android 10 operating system. Two, five, five. So these are the arrangements in your smartphone. In technical terms, we will not call it as arrangement. We call it as configuration. So what network parameters you are going to configure? IP address, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. IP address. IP address. Okay. Then test. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, let us do the first step here. So, read this. I want to create a network, so I need two systems, two PCs, and I need one switch. Okay. So, what is the first step? Click lower left corner, any devices. That is the second icon. Click lower left corner this is lower left corner and devices that is the second icon okay click it then yes, select pc click workspace so i click here then select the pc okay then click on yes, the sir. workspace so pc zero so here i will write first adding pcs click End devices select PC. PC. click workspace right yes no. sir yes sir no. okay. clear everyone hello hello guys yes sir yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. <coughs> repeat a step I don't need to click any devices select PC click workspace adds PC1 right isn't it okay, again click any devices PC click workspace 
that is another device correct isn't it yes sir yes sir okay. yes sir next i need a switch so again let us go to this click lower left corner network devices first icon select switches then select 2960 click workspace so click first icon lower left corner first icon network devices select switches so this is the switches click 2960 okay so let us write the steps here uh, click Uh, network network device yes select switches Sorry. select 960 then click workspace <laughs> this will add Switch, right? Yes, sir. Hello. Yes, sir. So now click on this uh, network devices. Click switch two nine six zero. Click on workspace. So you have what? The switch here, right? So all the devices are here. What is the next step? Connect the devices with the media, right? Media. Yes, sir. So let us. Uh, Read the steps. Click lower left corner connections. Fourth icon straight through. Third icon. Then it is not ending here. Click on PC zero. Select fast to the next zero. Fast to the next. Click on switch. Select fast to the next zero one. Okay. So click on lower left corner. So fourth icon that is connections. Then click on Straight through. That is third icon. Click on PC zero. Select fast Ethernet. Click on switch. Click on fast Ethernet one. So you can write it here like this. Click connections. On connection. Then select. Click fast. Straight. Straight through. Straight through. Okay. Now, click on click Fast. PC zero, right? PC zero, yes sir. Yes sir. Then yes sir. Select fast yes, internet. Fast internet. Fast internet. Then see here. Stop here. Click switch. Right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And select fast internet. Internet one. Okay. So repeat, repeat uh, above step. Four PC one, right? Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But select fast Ethernet. 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 Two on switch because one is already used. Correct. Yes, yes, sir. yes, sir. So click on fourth icon. Click on straight to click third on straight. icon. Click on PC zero. Select fast Ethernet. Fast click Ethernet. On fast Ethernet two. Fast Ethernet two. So you have configured the connected the devices. Next is what? Uh, configure network parameters, right? Network yes, parameters. So, so what are the steps here? See? Okay. Assign IP address to PC zero and PC one. So PC zero is taking IP address ten dot zero dot zero dot one. PC one is taking IP address ten dot zero dot zero dot two. So click on PC zero. Click on desktop. Click on IP configuration. 
set IP address 10.0.0.1 subnet mask and close. Okay. So I will write here. Uh, click on PC0. Select desktop tab. Select IP configuration. Then set IP address ten dot zero dot zero dot one dot one and the subnet mask two five five dot zero five five dot zero dot zero dot zero. Okay. So click on PC zero. Select desktop app. Click on IP configuration, then IP address 10.0.0.1. Then Subnet mask. You don't have to type it here. See, it will be automatically coming here. You don't need to type it here. So, here, repeat above step. For PC one, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. IP address yes, sir. ten dot zero dot zero dot two. Ten yes. ten dot zero dot zero dot two. And uh, subnet. Subnet will be zero. Dot zero dot zero. Correct, master. Two five five. Zero dot zero dot zero. So click on PC one. Desktop, desktop IP configuration ten dot zero dot zero ten dot zero dot zero two. Yes. Now network configuration is complete. So what is the final step? Test configuration. Again. So click on PC zero. Click on desktop. Click on command prompt. Enter IP config command to see the IP address. Uh, enter ping ten dot zero dot zero two. Test the connection. So here, test connection. We click on PC zero. Click select. Select. Okay. Desktop. Desktop tab. Tab. Select command prompt. Come on. Enter IP config to see IP address Enter ping ten dot zero dot zero dot two. So that is verification. Here, you can include this here in result. Okay. okay. Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So yes, sir. go to PC zero. Click desktop tab, it is already there. Command prompt, then IP config. So you can see the IP address of the system 10.0.0.1. Uh, type the command uh, ping 10.0.0.2. So you are getting a successful replay, that means uh, communication is happening between uh, two systems, correct? Hello. Yes, sir. 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 So, to do practicals, you don't need PC or laptop. So, when you are able to write these steps, so if you 
go for the practical examinations and they will yes, tell sir. you first they will tell you to write the procedure right if you can write the procedure they know that you can do the practical okay hello yes sir yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. So, what you should be able to do is to write the procedure if you can write the procedure that means you can 90% is complete implementing it in a packet tracer it's only 5 to 10% that's it so, so sir can you open the uh, notes sir that the packet tracer one i did not take a screenshot that packet tracer after features of net uh, features of a network the packet tracer sir yes yes Yes, what happened? Right. What happened? Sir, beginning, beginning. Yes, sir. Next, sir. Next, sir. Why didn't you take? Nobody took. Hello. So yes, those sir. Yes, sir. Who did not take a packet tracer notes? Please take it. Okay, sir. All of you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Done, sir. Yes, sir. Done, sir. Done, sir. Done, sir. Take this one also. Done, sir. Take this one. Done, sir. Done, sir. Done, sir. Done, sir. Done, sir. There is a simulation part in this. See, don't try to uh, remember the steps of simulation. Just observe this. That's it. Okay. Hello, guys. Yes, sir. You yes, don't sir. need yes, to yes, remember sir. the steps for simulation now. Yes. See, there is a simulation button here. I am clicking that. So that will open this window here. And uh, say I will edit some filters here. We go to miscellaneous. I don't want FTP, FTP, and RTP. See, then I will select. I am say trying to communicate from this system to this system. So I need to send the data from this system to this system. For that, I will select this symbol PDU protocol data unit. Then I will click on this system. I will click on the destination system. Now I can click this forward button here. When I click this forward button, it will show the graphical movement of this data from this uh, system to this uh, switch from there it will move to this system and let's see click so data is flowing from here to here if i click again so data is going from this system to this system now the data will come back from that system to this system okay click okay it means successful communication happened, correct? Hello? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Now yes, sir. I want to delete this. I want to close this uh, to real time. So I am going to change the IP address of the system. So click on this PC. Let us give some other IP address. 20.0.0. Okay. Mm. Let us communicate from what are you seeing? The request time. Request time I am. This means. These two systems are not in the same network, right? Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
Yes, Communication sir. is not yes, happening. Sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Let us try to ping uh, to a system that is not at all in this network. So ping 192.168.1.1. Yeah. Get the same result. Okay, let us change the address to the same here as 10.0.0.2. But this time, what I am going to do is I am going to switch off the system. So I will close this. I will go to physical configuration. If I zoom in, you can see a switch button, power button. So this is the yellow, light is yellow, that means this system is on. I press here, so this system is off now. Now try to ping that system. Destination. Ping. Uh, 10.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0
टेन डॉट जीरो डॉट जीरो डॉट वन किया एंड टेन डॉट जीरो डॉट जीरो डॉट टेन डॉट जीरो डॉट जीरो डॉट टू सी देयर देयर इस ए कनेक्शन राइट ए नेटवर्क इस ए कनेक्शन बिटवीन सिस्टम्स करेक्ट इस ए निफ़ालो गैस यस सर यस सर देयर इस ए कनेक्शन आईपी एड्रेस देयर एवरीथिंग बट कैन दे कम्युनिकेट दैट इस द क्वेश्चन पिंग टेन डॉट जीरो डॉट जीरो डॉट they will not because the cable type we are using to connect here is straight through see trace straight through cables are used to connect different types of devices like a pc switch pc hub okay switch router if you want to connect the same type of devices we need to use another type of cable that is known as crossover cable so crossover cable you can select from see connections this one hello Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So now you can connect this system to this one. Uh, try to ping from ping ten dot zero dot zero dot two. Now it is communicating, correct? Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So yes, crossover cables are used to use for communication between same type of devices. Straight through cables are used for communication between different types of devices. Here the communication is happening because, see, even though this is a crossover, see, you have the same type of device here. See, so it's which is uh, bypassing that uh, information. That is why it is communication is happening. Vaishnavi. Hello, Vaishnavi. Yes, sir. Is it everything clear so far? The screen is not. Yes, sir. Screen is what? The screen is not visible, sir. Is my screen visible to everyone else? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Vaishnavi, is there any problem with your network connection, Vaishnavi? No, sir. Network is proper. So my network is also proper. Others are seeing my screen. Sorry, no, sir. Okay, I will share it once again. Yes, sir. So I share. I have shared it. Everyone else is she seeing my screen yes, now, correct? Visible. Okay. Thank you. So here, to connect different types of devices, use straight through cable. Example: PC to switch. To connect same type of devices, use crossover cable. Okay. See, I don't want to see. I want to tell you something very, very important. See, tomorrow we are going to cover network models. So in uh, network basics, you studied right? OSI model, TCP/IP models. Correct. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, yes, sir. Uh, what I want, uh, what I want you to do is to uh, read those topics. Search in Google what is OSI model. Read as much as possible. Okay, in Google. So usually I don't see. Okay, so at least read your notes. What is OSI model? What is TCP/IP model? Yes, sir. And uh, see, today's class is the most important class. today's class was the most important class whatever you have learned today repeat it three or four times before you come to the class tomorrow see tomorrow also we are going to do the practicals see all the things you have studied today these are the a b c d s for networking in ccna so each and every time so when you hear the term server don't think about it automatically you must open your mouth server is a system that provides a service you should not be thinking clear yes. hello guys yes yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. what is media uh, uh, what is network device what is uh, and uh, so if you do like that it will become easy so you have uh, 12 days And twelve days, if you dedicate yourself at least. See, I am not saying that you should do a study twenty-eight, twenty-four hours. You can sleep for eight hours. Sleep for eight hours. You take uh, eating and everything. 
three to four hours every day routine. So leisure time, Facebook, uh, WhatsApp, Instagram, uh, everything. Take another four hours. So eight plus eight, 16 hours. So you spend time with your family, two hours. See, at least take one hour out of 24 hours. Take one hour to spend time with your notes. That's it. Hello. Yes, sir. Understood? Okay, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Then uh, it will be easy, interesting. Otherwise, what will happen? After three or four classes, you will feel the heavy burden of information hanging on your head and you will find it very very difficult so, so you will feel it for one or two days after one or two days it will become easy for you so okay sir. so you want to work in ccna and system network and the router environment so this will uh, so these are the basic steps so everyone wants results, correct? Without putting yes, any sir. efforts. See, that is the problem. No one wants uh, efforts. No one wants to take efforts, but they want results. If you don't give proper input, how will you get proper output? So just think about that. So, uh, so tomorrow we are going to discuss about OSI model. See why, and we are going to discuss almost full day. See, at the end of the session, I will do one or three or two or three practicals, the remaining practicals from this first uh, the basics of uh, uh, packet tracer. Other than that, it is all about network models. See, I'm not uh, going to teach you like a full textbook for OSI models. But most of the things we will cover at least 60 to 70 percent that you know, that you should know about uh, network models. These network models, if you go for higher level certifications or higher level jobs, like network professional, network architect, then network model is the reference point you are going to use to deal with very, very big networks. So keep that also in mind. So today's notes. Sir, ye last class is it? Is it ki? First time. Yeah, I did not explain. See, I did not say this last class. Correct. This is the first class. Correct. Hello, guys. Yes, sir. 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 Yes, I will ask the questions. That is what I am going to do. I will not ask the questions. It's up to you. Yes, if you want to learn it, you, you study it. See, I am not forcing anyone. I, I don't want to force anyone. You are uh, adults with voting rights, correct? Yes, sir. Right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You have to decide your future, not me. I can just uh, uh -huh. give you a platform or suggestion or ideas to use this facility and uh, give some very good class here. So, okay, that is all about uh, for Thanks. today's class. So, see you guys tomorrow. Take care. Bye. Bye, sir. Thank you, sir. Bye, Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Bye, sir. Bye, sir.